In this lesson, we're going to graph some sines and cosines. Um, we are just going to be messing with the amplitudes and the periods on these. Um, so we're going to do four of them, just to kind of get you a feel for what we got going on. Um, and there's five main points we want to graph, um, and this is kind of just how I approach it because there's lots of different ways to do it. So um, this is the equation that we have. We have y equals negative 2 sine x. Um, the biggest thing is, is knowing that sine starts on the line, um, and then what is our period, what's our amplitude. Um, we don't have any kind of, we're not going to have any vertical shifts, or we're not going to have any horizontal shifts, we're not going to have any midline adjustments, and we're not going to have any phase shifts. So, um, what we need is to know what the amplitude is. The amplitude is 2. That negative is not part of the amplitude, it is going to vertically reflect our graph. And then our period is 2 pi divided by b. So don't forget that we are looking at this as our generic. All right, so we are not going to be messing with uh, your left and right shift and your up and down shift. We are just going to be messing with these two types of values, the amplitude and the period being adjusted. So right now, our period is not being adjusted. So nothing is dividing into the 2 pi. So our period is 2 pi. Our amplitude is 2, and it's going to be vertically reflected. So what does that look like? So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, our amplitude, our our four marks is the idea of this is we're going to start here and end here regardless of whatever the period is. So I'm going to do my vertical kind of aspect of the graph and then I'll connect to my horizontal aspect of the graph. So my graph should have gone fluctuated between a negative one and a positive one, but um, because of the two, it is vertically stretching our graph by a factor of two. So that's exactly what that thing is doing. So that tells me that my graph is going to fluctuate. Um, so if we talk domain and range, uh, we are going to fluctuate between a negative 2 and a positive 2. All right. Uh, our, uh, our period. The period on this did not get affected, so that's going to be a 2 pi right there. If we cut it in half, that's pi. We cut it in half, that is our scale. So we're going to go 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, over 2. And then we're just going to plot points. So sine starts on the line, aka the midline, and so our sine is starting here, and then our sine should have been going up, but we have a negative that's going to be reflecting it. So instead of it doing its normal sine curve, it's going to go down, because it got vertically reflected. And this is going to be one full cycle, one period. Right? And then this graph would fluctuate on and on and on and on from there. Domain on this. Domain on all sines and cosines are going to be negative infinity to infinity. Because it goes left and right forever. It never fluctuates from that. Alright, uh, cosine 2x. That 2 actually um, refers to the number of full cycles... in 2 pi. So if I were graphing it on this, our cosine graph would do two full cycles by the time it gets to 2 pi. So we don't need to go to 2 pi to do one full cycle. And that's why this formula exists. So our amplitude would be, there's no number in the front, so then our amplitude is 1, so there's no vertical stretch to it. And our period is going to be 2 pi divided by the 2. That 2 refers to the b. So we divide it by 2, so our new period is pi. Which hopefully makes sense that if two cycles would have existed from 0 to 2 pi, then if we need one full cycle, then it's going to be half of that. So it divides it by 2. Alright, so if we graph that, we're going 1, 2, 3, 4. But this time, rather than putting 2 pi, I'm putting pi. So if we cut it in half, we get pi over 2, we cut it in half, Half of a half is a fourth. So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. 
and our graph is going to fluctuate between a negative one and a positive one. Now graphing cosine, cosine starts at a high point, and then we're going to go to a middle, and then a low, a middle, and then a high. And there we go. So there's our gra our cosine graph. All right, let's do a couple more. Um, so for graphing cosine, the three, and then we got a one fourth. So our amplitude is three. Our period is two pi divided by one fourth. So this is going to stretch out our period, or stretch out our distance it takes to get one full cycle. Because only one fourth of the graph would actually exist from zero to two pi, so then we got to go out four times that in order to make that happen, which is kind of what this math ends up doing. Because instead of dividing by one fourth, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, and so our period's going to be eight pi. So, our graphs, strangely, are going to look exactly the same. The only difference is our scale and everything is going to be different. So our period is 8 pi, cut it in half, that's 4 pi, cut it in half, that's 2 pi. So 1 fourth of the graph is going to exist from 0 to 2 pi, so it makes it go all the way out to 8 pi. Alright, and then our amplitude is 3, so we're at 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So we are fluctuating between negative 3 and positive 3 for the range. Our uh, domain is negative infinity to infinity, and then we just got a graph cosine. So cosine starts at a high point, hits the middle, hits a low, hits a middle, hits a high point. All right. And again, it looks extremely similar to the last cosine, biggest difference is our scale stopped at pi for one period versus 8 pi. So, and that's not uncommon. They should all look very similar. You just got to really dive deep in, into it and make sure you're understanding what the scale is. All right, last one, amplitude. Our amplitude is 2. The negative is going to vertically reflect our graph. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different where our period is going to be 2 pi divided by 4 pi, which just makes 1 half. So it's a weird period. Normally, and everything is in radians. Like, what happened? Well, the radian got multiplied through. So when you put your um, whatever angle you're plugging it into, um, it just kind of gets all canceled out. So 1. Four. It does happen every once in a while that the that the radian idea kind of goes away, um, but that doesn't change how we think of everything. So our period is from zero to one half. We cut it in half, that's a fourth. We cut it in half, that's an eighth. So one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. And then we are going up and down two because of our amplitude. So our graph fluctuates from a negative 2 to a positive 2, and it is going to be vertically reflected. So sign starts on the line, should have went up, but it got vertically reflected, so it's going to go down. So negative, back to the middle, high point, low point. So that's a little bit of uh, a brief introduction to sines, cosines, um, and it, all it was messing with were the um, were the amplitude and the period. So on the next video, we'll be shifting it left and right and up and down and kind of having everything affected. So that's it.